Hey guys, Casey Foster here from netcodeguides.com. Uh, been getting a lot of requests about how to clutch. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start this video off. I got myself into a 1v5 situation earlier today. And um, this is obviously an extreme case where it's five players versus me. But I knew that I had to just sit back and wait for them to push me and then make mistakes and try to basically 1v1 a bunch of them in different times. So you'll see one of these players is going to push up halls. looks like he's skating, actually. And um, I get an early kill on him, and I heard the dude flanking. And luckily, I get the kill on that guy. Um, I hear a player coming into Boiler. So they basically all peeked me one by one, minus the guy that flanked Boiler. I knew this dude was pit earlier on in the round, and he still played the same spot. Got the early headshot on him. And at this point, I've... I've 1v1'd four players, and if if there was more time, I would have waited or done something else, but there, was, there wasn't there was a lot of time, so I had to go early on the guy on pit and go into the site. Obviously, I had no clue where this last guy was at. I was figuring he would still be at B because my teammates had died you know, seconds before I got into the situation, so I knew I had killed three of the A players and one of them was going to be mid or one of them was going to be B, but somehow he had rotated really early and he kills me when I go for the plant. But we're going to go over this one more time. All right, so here we are again. We're going to break it down with a little bit uh, more time and um, explain the logic between what happened. So I was basically just waiting because I knew, you know, they're going to have to push me. There's a minute left. Um, I had the bomb. I knew that the guy was pushing halls. I heard the guy in alt mid. So my logic was to kill the guy in apartments and turn around quickly and shoot this guy in alt mid. So obviously I shot my bullets. He wasn't there. And I was expecting somebody else to peek me from stairs. So I go back to kill him and get the kill on him. So, you know, in most of these situations where you're clutching, the player's like, oh, dude, it's just one guy versus five, you know, just push and kill him. So I got the two early kills and um, this guy pushes boiler. So I'm like, shit, if I can kill this guy Boiler, I can solo off one of these last two guys and uh, get myself into a better situation. Sure enough, he pushes me. Uh, looked like he had an op, actually. And um, now I'm in a 2v1. And at this point, they're like, oh, shit, you know, he could potentially win this. Now we're in a 2v1. And one of these guys has low health. And this is the guy I was fighting in pit earlier. So I just throw this little standard pop flash. If he was in pit or in sight, that flash would have got him. And... Um, He's still in the same spot in pit, so I get the headshot on him. And now I'm in a 1v1, but like I said in the earlier part of this video, I had no clue where this guy was at. He could have been playing B. This dude was all over the map every single round, so I just I kind of messed up. I should have just planted safe, but I just figured he would still be at B and I would be able to plant in for pit and get an easy plant. And sure enough, he's on boiler and gets the early kill. So I just wanted to go over this video just to show people that your main idea or your main... Um, your main goal when, in, when you're clutching is to get yourself into as many 1v1s as possible. You're not going to win 2v1 gun battles, 1v3s, 1v4s. It's, it's just not going to happen. I don't care how good you are at spraying or if you get them lined up with an op. It's just not going to happen. So my, my logic was to just eliminate the possibilities of me fighting more than one person at a time. And most of the time when you see these kind of clutches happen or, you know, pro teams win these 1v3s or 1v4s or 1v5, it's because the other team made stupid mistakes. It's usually not because that one player is just that much better than the other players. So, again, when you guys are in clutch situations, try to use your time and your positioning to your advantage to get yourself into as many 1v1s as possible and just try to win the gunfights. Most of the time you're playing a team game and you're playing versus a good team, they're going to set themselves up just to crossfire. So even if you do get the one kill, they're going to get the trade kill on you and end the round. So, you know, in a matchmaking game or in a pug or in like a low level match, you could get yourself into these situations and win them because of the other team making mistakes. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, comment and subscribe, and uh, we'll definitely release more. Thanks.